Tabitha ministry started with a Bible study for two ladies back at the end of 2005, and it's grown to um, about 200 Bible studies out in the villages. And in order for that to work, we have to have leaders of various levels. So we have the local Bible study leaders, then we have overall leaders who help supervise and teach the lesson to those leaders each week, and we have center leaders over those overall leaders. We have eight spokes going out from Tenwick, and a center leader and assistant leader for each of those spokes. My favorite day of the month is when the center leaders come to our house and uh, teach them at that time. Hear their reports, worship together, see how God is at work in their places. And at that time we have four studies ready for them for the month ahead. The Lord has provided a huge gift in Paris. She was um, the one we hired to be our cook back in 2005. But she has um, grown so much and is a tremendous help to me. I write the Bible studies. She and her husband translate them. She's now, this past year, learned to write the studies herself. So that's a huge help with Bible study. The Peter ministry has really changed my life. I'm one of the council members in the church. And the Peter ministry really made me to be able to preach to many people. Besides Pierce, we have two other workers for us, usually someone to help with the cleaning and laundry, and right now that's Cecilia. She's a refugee from Rwanda back in the early 90s, and so she helps at the house, but then she also helps with people that need to go up to the hospital. Yesterday she took up a, a gal that we didn't think was going to get through registration because of the debt they had, and she saw them through. She's also in her neighborhood. She's very sensitive to those people that are needy and sometimes brings them to us. Robert is our guy that works outside, but he was a new believer in 2005, but it's growing a lot. He is uh, very much a man of integrity. He often goes out and visits the needy HIV families or other families and sees how their fields are coming along and gives counsel and help there too. So one of my favorite times during the week is when we have chai together with Robert and Cecilia and Paris who work here and we open up scripture and do the study that we have written, just written and translated and typed up in order to work out the glitches. And it's a tremendous insight into their lives as we share around the word and uh, seeing them grow through that. I'm amazed that I get to be involved in this ministry. It was definitely God's, it's not my plan, it wasn't any strategy that we have. I just get to go and be a part of it. And so I'm amazed at the grace of God towards me in allowing me to be a part of it. And being in the Word every day in a, a deeper way than just my quiet time, um, studying God's Word, studying these books of the Bible, and trying to make them understandable to others, I'm touched too. We are seeing people come to Christ. Pastors tell us that. Leaders tell us that. And it's a joy to hear the testimonies right from the people and hear how they've come from darkness into light church is being built up. We, we attend churches sometimes and they say we have no Bibles in this church. Or we had a few Bibles on, on the men's side, but none on the women's side. And now we have 40. And that's just a joy to see. The Bibles are there. The families are reading them. People are growing in the Lord. And 